Okay. So tonight we will um, discuss or read the story entitled Arnold and the Robot. Okay. But before that, we need to look at the pictures and write letter T if the statement is true and F if it's false. Did you understand yet too? Yes. Okay. So, kindly read number one. There are two in the yeah, lab in the laboratory. Exactly. Correct. In the laboratory. Are there three robots? I mean, are there two robots in the laboratory? Is it true or false? Can you write there? It's false. Yes, it's false. So it's letter? F. Is it? Yes, F. Can you write there in your, are you using laptop or computer? I can you, use laptop. Yeah, can you annotate? Okay, can you write like this? F, okay, go that way. Can you do it? Okay, wait, Saha. I, you wait for a while. Okay, so that's false because how many robots are in the laboratory? We have two. How many laboratory? Uh, how many there robots? Three lab yes, very good. There are three robots in the laboratory. How about number two? Can you read it, please? Read number two. The boy has the boy has to play the loud rectory. Is it true or false? This is true. Yes, because on the picture on the bottom part um shows the boy has to clean the laboratory. Very good. So it's letter T. How about number three? Kindly read via two. The robot to sweep the floor. The boy tells the robot to sweep the floor. Is it true or false? It's false. Uh -huh. Is it false? It's false. Um, can you can you please look at the picture on page forty one on the top part? What is the boy in red doing? Did he give the bucket and the mop to the robot? Yes. Yes. So, did the boy tell the ro tells the robot to sweep the floor? No. No, but what did he do? He tells the robot to to clean to clean the floor. To clean the floor, or maybe it is um it is uh being used here is sweep, okay. So it means to say that the boy is telling the robot to clean the floor. Okay? And the last one is, can you read it please?
The scientist is happy when he comes back. Is the scientist happy now? No, he is angry. Yeah, he is angry to the boy because the boy told the robot to do the task. All right? Okay. So let's proceed to the story via two. Read the title. Okay, sorry. Arnold and the robot. Kindly read via two. Arnold gives the road. Hmm. Read Arnold and the robot. Arnold and the robot. Okay, let's read. William, William is a scientist. Okay. Mazurne. <laughs> Okay, continue. Okay, I'll zoom it first. Okay, can you see it clearly via two? No. Um, shall I zoom it mo even more? Okay, how about this one? Okay. Yes, I can see. Okay, start. Start okay. three. William is this okay? It keeps on moving. Wait, say go. Then Arnold and a robot. William is a scientist. He makes the robot to help people do their housework. This robot can wash dishes, they can cook, they can tie your roof, and they can see cold. Arnold is William's helper. He has to keep William's flowers are virtually clean and tidy. Good. Next. William. William sometimes William sometimes teach Arnold to how to build a robot, but Arnold never listens. He doesn't know much about work. Robots. Arnold doesn't like his job very much because he doesn't like difficult work. One day, William goes into town to buy something. When I come back at half past three, he says to Arnold, I want to see this room clean. I want to see the floor. Uh, I want to see. The wash the floor. It might and work hard. I know tidy the table. And he does a little thing. Now I have washed the floor. Okay. Go. Wait. Wait for a while. Okay. Continue. He gets a bucket and fills it with water, and he has an idea. I want a ro I want a robot to help me. He press a button and says, "Robot, wash the floor." The robot takes a bucket and turns the water over the floor, and it picks up picks up the bucket. Again, stop, shouts Arnold. The robot doesn't stop. Arnold cannot run, but now the robot goes really fast, putting the bucket and pouring the water. The laboratory is full of water. Arnold doesn't know what to do. Listen, the old Door open. It's William. He looks at the door. He is very angry. 
He goes over the river and fashion fast, but the river stops still. Now clean up. We will face you on the You are all night. I was a baby that takes me a long time. Next time you will teach me, I am going to use a cavalry. He thinks. Okay, very good. Thanks for reading the story. We have to. Okay, wait up. Okay. So, who is the scientist in the story? It's William. Yeah, it was William. What did he do? What to, or what did he make? He made he made robots. Yeah, he made robots for what? Why did he make robots? Why did William make robots? Because this room could yes, he make robots to help people with their house work so the robots can what can the robots do via to the robots can they can cook can wash dishes can cook can carry rooms and Sweep floors. Very good. So he created the robots to help the people. Yeah, to help the people um, do their housework, such as washing the dishes, cooking, and tidying rooms, and then sweep the floor. And who is Arnold in the story? Who is he? Who is Arnold? He is William's helper. Good job. He is William's helper. So he needs to do the cleaning and tidying the laboratory of William. But did he do his task? Or did he do his work? Yet to? No. No. Instead, what did he do? What did Arnold do that made William get angry? Is the robot? What? Because Arnold doesn't know, know how to use a robot. What did he do? He let the robot help him, right? He let the robot wash the floor. So when the robot washes the floor, what happened? A robot spills the water in the floor. Yeah, the robot keeps on what throwing the water over the floor. So what happened in the uh, to the floor? Yeah. What happened to the laboratory? Hmm? The laboratory was filled with water. Water. Right? 
Yeah. Big, right. Yeah, because Arnold cannot stop the robot from throwing water on the floor. So when William arrived, what did he feel when he saw the water on the floor, flooding on the floor? What was the reaction of William? Was he sad? Was he happy? Or was he angry? No. No. So? Maybe angry. Yes. William got angry because the floor was filled with water because Arnold used the robot in cleaning the floor. So what is, um, what did you learn from the story that we've, um, we just read, we have two, did you learn something? Turn over us. Is it good for us to um to be lazy or to not to not do our task properly? Is it good? Is it good to be lazy? Lazy via to? No. No. Because it can cause trouble sometimes, right? Okay, so let's proceed with the activity. Let's have the play the robot game. You have to put the story in order. So you are going to tell me which happened first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Okay, you have to tell me what happened first here on the story. Ano sige siya gumove? Okay. Here. There you go. Can you tell me which happened first in the story? Hello ko. Which comes first, Vietu? William goes into town. Very good. That's the first um, uh, event that happened in the story. What's next? Arnold tidies the table. Arnold tidies the table. Next. Very good. What's next, Vietu? Arnold sweeps the floor. Okay. Arnold sweeps the floor. Next. Arnold has an idea. Hmm? Yes, Arnold has an idea. And what's his idea? Arnold gives the robot a bucket of water. Yes, Arnold gives the robot a bucket of water. And then what happened next? What happened next?
Correct. The robot throws water over the floor. And then next. Arnold shouts stop. Yes, after he shouted stop, what happened? William What? William? William arrives home. Very good. You got the story in order, Vietu. Very good. Okay. So it's already 9.28 p.m. here in the Philippines. So it means to say that we already had or have discussed within 25 minutes. So let's continue our discussion or our class next. Uh, wait, what was that? Wednesday? Uh, I will not meet you on Wednesday, so it will be on Friday. Okay, via two. So okay. that will be all for tonight. Good night. And thank you. Goodbye, Vietu. Goodbye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Stop sharing. Ah. 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 Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm good. Ah, oh, you're good. Can we wait for a while, Pong Chi Ha? Okay, once again, good evening. Let me introduce myself first. So, I am Teacher Lacey. What is my name again? My name is Punchy. Teacher? Teacher Lacey. 